This video will cover how the total status output works on the CVX series machine vision system. The total status is a logical OR of all the inspection tool judgments that are added to your program. The current status is indicated in the upper right part of the screen. If all the tools pass, the total status will turn green and indicate OK. If any of your tools fail, it will turn red and indicate no good. The CVX has an output that's directly linked to this status on the terminal block. It is the one that is labeled OR. In this example, you can see that we have two cameras set up and each has some basic inspection tools already set up. So we'll go to setup mode and show you how to configure the output mode for the OR and the criteria for the total status. While we're in setup mode, we can now configure the criteria for the total status OR output. If you go to the output section of your program here by clicking the output icon, it's the very first setting here called judgment settings. As again, you can see total status is the logical OR or logical add of the camera judgments. So what the cam judgments are are your individual camera tabs if you have more than one camera and in each camera judgment are each tool that you set up. The logic used for the calculation is an OK equals 0 and a no good equals 1. The camera judgment tab can be used to dictate the criteria of each individual camera status. So every camera that you have in your program will have its own tab. Here's camera 1 and here's camera 2. And all the tools that you add to each tab are automatically included in the total status or calculation. If there's ever a scenario or application case where you want to exclude a tool from the total status calculation, you simply just need to come here and uncheck the tool from the list. So any tool that's unchecked will not be included in that total status calculation. Otherwise, the total status will just logically OR all tools altogether. Next, we can set the behavior or how the OR output itself will operate. Again, from the output menu, Click the OR terminal setting now. So again, that's the output on the terminal block that's directly linked to the total status. There's three modes that the output mode can be set to. Update every judge, hold status, one shot output. We'll cover each one of these as an example. And you can also dictate whether the output turns on for a no good status or on for an OK status. So as a default, the OR is going to update every judgment. So in other words, every time you trigger, it will update. And as a default, it'll output on no good status. So let us show you how this operates first. The OR output or any of the other judgment outputs only operate while you're in run mode. So when you're testing this out, you need to be in run mode. So we'll go to run mode and we'll run apart. So right now we have a good scenario. Now, if you want to view the IO status, there's a handy monitor in the utility section here. Under utility, we can click IO monitor and we can view the status of the OR output. If I create a no good condition and hit trigger, you can see the OR has come on. And if you noticed, we also had a one shot output here from the still, which I'll explain how that works as well. But if the part fails, the OR will turn on. And if it passes, let me put the passing part back in, the OR will turn off. And we also have, again, this output timing signal called STO, S-T-O. What that does is every time the output is updated, you'll get a pulse to tell you that the output's updated. It's kind of like a data ready signal. So you can see if I click again, passing part, you can see I got a STO signal. So let's do that same example here, but this time I'll set it up to turn on for an OK part. So again, I'll go back to the OR terminal settings here, and I'm just going to simply turn this to output on for OK. Same scenario, update every judge. Go back to run mode. Let's click yes. And again, what I'll do is I'll bring up that IO monitor under the utility section. And again, if I click, if I trigger on a part that's OK, the OR will turn on. And again, you could see every time we have a new condition, we get a stow output to tell us the output's ready. And then if the part fails, you can see the OR will turn off. And again, we get a timing signal to tell us it's been updated. So in the update every judge mode, basically it's kind of like a switch. So the OR, every time you trigger, the OR will update and hold its status until the next trigger. 
So now I'll show you how to configure that output timing signal, otherwise known as STO. Again, what we'll do is we'll go to setup mode. Now the STO timing is a global setting. So in the global menu under communications IO, this is where you'll set that up under external terminal. So you can see the there's three settings here and it's already been kind of changed so you can see it here. But the STO output rise time, basically that's the amount of time from when the OR is updated to when the actual STO output itself turns on. That's a minimum of one millisecond. Uh, the default is 5, so basically it ensures that the OR has actually been updated before the STO comes on, that timing signal. The duration, or STO output duration, that's how long the STO is on for. It's always a one-shot signal. In this example, we've purposely linked it a little bit higher so you can actually see it on the monitor screen, but the default setting is 10 milliseconds. It's, again, just enough for the PLC or whatever you're taking that signal to to see. The total output cycle time here is basically just greater than or equal to those two added together. This is an important time. You don't want this to be longer than your trigger cycle because this is the length of time it takes to update the OR output. So in other words, the OR will not update faster than this output cycle time. So that is what dictates the timing of the STO and the OR outputting in the update with every judge mode. So now let's check out one of the other modes for the OR output. So again, I'll go to the output settings and click on the OR terminal. This time we'll show you the hold status mode. And I'll set it back to on for no good in this example. But what hold status mode will do is it will literally hold the status regardless of the OK no good condition until the output is reset. So in other words, in this example, we'll output it on no good. As soon as we get a no good condition, the output will turn on and stay on regardless of the OK condition until we reset it now either manually or via the PLC. So let's try this out. Again, I'll go to run mode for this. So we'll go to the run mode and again what I'll do is I'll bring up the utility function here and watch the IO monitor. So right now we have an OK condition. So if I trigger this you can see the OR is not on. It's off. So what I'll do is I'll create a no good condition. Again you can see the OR comes on. If I put the good part back in you can see our status has become OK again, but the OR has remained on, latched on. So that will st continue to hold the status until we issue a reset command. Now, we can do this manually with the mouse by holding the right-click button and clicking Reset. So what that'll do is that'll clear the status. So in the real application, it might be the PLC issuing the reset command to clear that output. So that's how the hold mode works for the OR terminal. Now let's show you how that mode would work if it was set for ON for OK. So I'll go to the output in the OR terminal again. Um, so let's go ahead and set this ON for OK. Well, Now what this mode will do is the output will start off being off and as long as the condition is no good it's going to stay off but as soon as you get an OK it will turn on and stay on. So it's probably a very rare occasion but just to show you what this will do let's go ahead and show the example here. So again I'll make I'll go to run mode and I'll go to utility IO monitor so we'll run a, let's start with a bad condition. So right now you can see the OR is off and so if I trigger on a bad condition it's no good the OR will stay off until we get a good condition and as soon as we get a good condition you'll see the OR will turn on and stay on regardless of OK or no good condition. So that's how the hold status on for OK works. So probably very rare occasion that you'd use that, but that is how it works. And now let's show you how the one-shot mode works for the OR. So again, I'll go back to setup mode, output, and then the OR terminal. So now we'll show you how the one-shot type mode works. And we'll start with on for no good status. And so basically what one shot mode will do, or one shot output, is the output will turn on and stay on for a set amount of time and then turn back off. So in this case, for a no good condition, it will turn on. And the one shot time is how long it's going to go on for. So let's, for this example, let's uh, have it go on for, well, let's go ahead and do it for a thousand milliseconds. So a second. So let's say we want a one second one shot pulse. So I'll go ahead and set it for a thousand milliseconds. Click OK, and again, let's go to run mode, because that's when the outputs are live. And I'll pull up that utility here. 
an IO monitor. So what we'll do is we'll start off with a good condition. So I'll hit trigger on a good condition. Oh, actually, it's no good right now. So you can see the one shot for no good. Let me, uh, as soon as I get my OK, you can see it doesn't turn on. But for no good, we get that one shot for the OR. So every time we get a bad, we get a one shot pulse. And when it's good, it doesn't turn on at all. So that's on for no good. So if we want the opposite, if we want it to turn on for an OK part, we simply just need to change that checkbox to turn on for OK. So same setting, I'll just output on for OK status. I'll leave it at 1,000 milliseconds here, again, for example purposes. And I'll go ahead and run. And we'll run some good and bad parts and see how it operates. So again, IO monitor. I'll trigger on a good part. So you can see again, we get that one shot pulse for OK every time we have an OK. And if we have a no good, I'll take the part out. You can see the OR does not turn on. So we only get a pulse for an OK condition in this example. There it is. So that's the total status output. So just to summarize, the OR total status output is a quick and easy way just to get a simple pass-fail status for your total program. Out of the box, it's set up for update every judge and on for no good. So if, you, if that works for you, you don't even have to do anything. It's already set up to include all tools that are added to the program, and the output will turn on for a no good and turn off for an okay.